Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain about one of the Selenium web driver commands that is set script timeout command. So what is the purpose of this command? Let me explain. For example, you are browsing a web application in the browser. As a result of that, a web page will be displayed. This particular web page, let's say, has some section. Somewhere on this page, there is a section on this web page which doesn't load along with this page. Instead, this particular section of this page is going to load independently by its own guys. Independently, this section will load by itself. Because the coding, here we have used some asynchronous code guys. Asynchronous code. Whereas this page has some synchronous code, whereas this only this section on this page has this asynchronous code provided while developing this page. Hence, this particular section of this page will load independently irrespective of this page load. So there are chances that even after this page loads, there is a chance that this section may not load, may or may not load. Either this section may load earlier or this section, which is having this asynchronous code, since it is loading by itself, may take some time to load. Even after this complete page is available, this section may not be available. It may take some time sometimes. Let's say inside this section, there is a kind of UI element. The, for example, we can take that as a button. Okay, there's a button in this uh, section which will load independently irrespective of this page. In, in this kind of situation, let's say you are writing some Selenium automation script for clicking on this button. So Selenium will wait for this page to load. Let's say this asynchronous code section has not loaded it. Now you are trying to click on this button. What will happen, guys? Selenium will only wait for this uh, page to load and it will not wait for this button to load, guys. So what will happen? It will try to click on the button before this particular button is appeared in this section or loaded in this section, which results in a kind of exception known as no such element exception. So what is the solution then? The solution is to wait for this asynchronous code on this page to load. So by default, Selenium, by default, Selenium waits for the page to load, right? But it will not wait for this asynchronous code to load by default. So we have to explicitly wait for this particular asynchronous to load on this page. For that, there is a command in Selenium that is set script timeout. If you provide some time, uh, to this particular set script timeout command, Selenium will actually wait for this asynchronous code to load also, okay? Uh, for example, you specify 10 seconds. So Selenium will wait for 10 seconds before this, uh, okay? So before performing any operation on this uh, element which can be loaded independently, Selenium actually waits for 10 seconds. If this is taking more time, you can give 15 seconds. You can set this timeout to 15 seconds. Based on your requirement, you can give the time, guys. How many seconds you can give. So by this time, the script will wait, Selenium will wait for 15 seconds or 10 seconds and then try to click. So this is how we can use the set script timeout command. Now let me show you how to use this set script timeout command in our automation code. So let's say this is some sample automation code, guys, which will open the Chrome browser, then maximize the browser, then open the application URL. Assume that on this particular web page, that is this particular web page, let's assume this because I don't have a real example to show you some asynchronous script getting loaded. But instead I would like to like visualize, instead I would like to make you guys visualize that uh, there is some button which will load uh, asynchronously and then what we have to do. So let's say we are actually opening the application URL using the Selenium automation code. Assume that when you browse this application, there is some button on this page, let's say button two, this button is loading by itself. It has some asynchronous code, let's say. It will not load along with the page. Instead, this button will load asynchronously because it has some asynchronous script. We don't know how much time this button will take to be displayed on this page. Even after the page got successfully loaded completely, this button may or may not be available. So. Let's say this button is coming after 10 or 10 seconds. Okay. So what we have to do, how to, how to change the script so that even after clicking on this button, after loading the page, 
if you directly click on this button there is a possibility that this asynchronous button may not be available and which may result in no such element exception so to avoid such kind of problems what we can do here is we can write this statement like driver dot manage dot timeouts dot set script timeout like this we have to use the command and set this command to 10 seconds 10 this 10 is seconds so we have to set time unit you have to specify explicitly that this not days not hours it is seconds guys fine 10 seconds so what will happen here is even after the selenium web driver waits for this page to load completely now this selenium will also wait for this asynchronous script assuming that this button has some asynchronous script this selenium script will wait for 10 seconds before performing any operation on the asynchronous code i mean before clicking on this button this will wait for 10 seconds not only this button any other things uh, that are available on this page which have some asynchronous code and they load very slow for such kind of things this will wait guys by default this particular statement will make the selenium to wait for such amount of time before performing operations fine guys uh, so this is all about uh, set script timeout command guys uh, unfortunately i don't have a real example to show you how to use these commands with the asynchronous kind of code because i don't see anywhere like any example website where uh, the ui elements loading asynchronously so for now i just want you guys to visualize and uh, assume that button 2 has some asynchronous code and we have to write some code like this to make it work fine guys so guys this is all about uh, set script timeout command and how to use and what is the purpose of using this in our selenium automation code so that's it guys thank you bye